Takeaway number 1, the Fourth Amendment says that student privacy is important and is a reasonable expectation in a school. Point number 1, private versus not private. A reasonable expectation of privacy means the individual demonstrates a desire for privacy and the expectation of privacy is recognized by society as reasonable. Point number 2, consent still requires a reasonable suspicion. School officials should not assume that a student's consent to a search eliminates the need for reasonable suspicion. TLO establishes that students have an expectation of privacy for personal items brought to school. The school must have reasonable suspicion and reasonable grounds. Point number three, lockers, cars, and cell phones. A general locker search is conducted based on a policy that lockers are school and not student property. Vehicles can be searched if items are within plain view inside the car in the school parking lot. Cell phones are considered private and cannot be searched unless there is reasonable suspicion. Point number 4, who let the dogs out? A dog's alert does not provide enough evidence of extreme intrusion for a search. A dog sniffing of a human is considered a search. A dog sniffing a bag is not. Point number 5, Big Brother is always watching. Video cameras can be used to monitor areas that could also be monitored in person, such as hallways, outside areas, bus lot. It is not clear if cameras are considered educational records or if the camera footage could be obtained under public records laws. <laughs>